Most people think that the Earth is the only populated planet in the solar system. Only, that's not exactly true. Mars, one of Earth's closest cosmic neighbors, is also populated. Only, it's populated by robots. At 1.5 astronomical units from the Sun, Mars is the fourth planet and Earth's closest neighboring planet only next to Venus. In the night sky, Mars stands out among other objects due to its distinct reddish hue, which is owed to this iron oxide or rust on its surface. And this earned it the famous name, the Red Planet. It has two moons named Phobos and Deimos, which might actually be captured asteroids. Mars is also pretty small. It only has about half the diameter of Earth and a tenth of its mass. This leads to about 38% of the Earth's gravitational acceleration on Mars, which means that you can leap about twice as high on Mars as you can on Earth. Fun fact, it would take seven Marses to fill up one Earth volume. One of the biggest reasons that Mars is so populated is because it contains a surprising amount of water in the form of ice. And this is really important because all of life as we know it depends on water. Its two polar ice caps contain water ice as well as dry ice due to its mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere. There's also a lot of water ice beneath Mars's surface. If all of these ices were melted, it would engulf the entire planet by several meters. It also has special land features and contains minerals that suggest the existence of water in its history. All these special characteristics, along with its close proximity to Earth, make Mars a really promising planet in the search for some form of life, whether present or ancient. That brings us to Mars's newest robotic family member, the Perseverance rover, or Percy, a rover that I call a mission of the future. Percy landed on Mars on February 18th, 2021, and it was sent there to do some really incredible science like looking for signs of past life, collecting rock samples to bring back to Earth, and converting the carbon dioxide in Mars's atmosphere into oxygen. The last two points I mentioned are why I call this mission a mission of the future. The Mars Sample Return mission requires us to send a mission over that will pick up those rock samples and bring them back to Earth. That means we're gonna need to do something we've never done before, launch from another planet back to Earth. Launching off another planet and returning to Earth is an incredibly important milestone for the future of human space exploration, because we need to be able to bring back our astronauts if we send them to another planet. And the second reason is MOXIE, which is an experiment that was sent with the rover to demonstrate the feasibility of being able to convert carbon dioxide in Mars's atmosphere into oxygen, which it's already done. And get this, the whole point of creating oxygen on Mars is because rockets need oxygen for combustion so that they can launch off into space and for future astronauts to be able to breathe. So this is really opening the door to human space exploration. But wait, there's more. Ingenuity is a helicopter that was sent with Perseverance to test whether flight is possible on Mars. And of course, it did exactly that and made history by being the first helicopter to fly on another planet ever. Having done this opens the doors to helicopters working as navigation systems to find the safest routes for rovers to travel. It's also just outrageously cool to know that we can fly on another planet. After all, we are humans and humans are passionately curious. How fitting that Percy was brought to a safe landing on Mars with a parachute that had a message encoded on it saying, dare mighty things. Because with this rover, humans have done exactly that.